They say McDonald's food tastes the same in every country all around the world. Then why is there foundation in my cheeseburger and an eyebrow pencil in my french fries? And why is there highlighter on the bottom of my Coca-Cola? It's easy. These are our new recipes of creative makeup. My friend puts on her lipstick, takes a chili pepper out of her makeup bag, unscrews it, and applies her mascara. There is an eye beauty product inside of the pepper. Cover a mascara tube with hot glue. Make sure the hot glue doesn't cover the joint between the tube and the cap, otherwise it won't open. Shape it into a chili pepper. Cover it with red paint when the glue is dry, and paint the stock green. Putting pepper on your lashes? I won't be surprised if my friend uses a beet instead of blush. On the other hand, it is awesome to have something creative in your makeup bag. My friend's got a hold of a delicious pizza somehow, and she doesn't want to share it all. Then I use a deceptive maneuver and take the pizza away. It's strange, but it has no smell, and the crust is as hard as though it was made a hundred years ago. My friend reveals the secret. The pizza is fake, being the eyeshadow disguise. Take eyeshadow in a thin foam plastic palette and snip off the bottom corners. Put the palette on parchment paper. Open it up and squeeze hot glue to outline a triangle around the container. Cover the glue with the parchment paper when dry. Close the lid of the palette and make the same triangle for the lid by squeezing the hot glue on top of it. It will be a pizza slice. Make the pizza crust. Add the hot glue around the edge. Take away the parchment paper when the glue is dry. The palette should open up easily. Paint the slice with acrylic paints. Imitate brown crust and melted cheese. Cut out some pink foam rubber circles. Attach them to the pizza slice. Make white dots to make them look like salami. Paint the hot glue inside of the palette as well. You won't be able to chew on this pizza. On the other hand, you will be able to do your eye makeup. Mmm, fast food! I adore it! There is so much of it! It will be just enough to have a snack. And here comes my friend when I have finished my lunch. The only thing I can offer her is Coca-Cola or sauce. She doesn't want it. She's feeling blue. Well, I know how to make her happy. I'll go and buy a new portion of fast food. Now I have something to treat Redhead to. I have a whole package of yummies. There are so many calories that my paper bag starts tearing. I have to call my friend and ask her to come and help me out. Redhead has got a special makeup bag to put in the McDonald's food. She brings it along. Cut four wide strips out of yellow felt. Snip off each strip at an angle. Cut out a base in the shape of an elongated hexagon. Hot glue the two strips together and attach them to the corners of the base. Hot glue A4 size sheets of felt to the long sides of the base. Attach them to the side strips to get the shape of a rectangular bag. Hot glue a zipper to the top. Draw letter M on a wide strip of red felt. Cut it out with a knife carefully. Attach the strip with the letter to the front of the bag. There's enough space for all my purchases in the bag. It's high time to go home and check out what the blue-eyed girl has bought this time. I put all the food on the table. There's an entire set. A cheeseburger, french fries with sauce, and a cola. Redhead wants to take the french fries. You need to eat it while it's still warm. But I stop my friend. It's no french fries at all. There are brushes and pencils hidden here. Take makeup brushes and pencils. Tape the bristles and paint the rest with yellow spray paint. While the paint dries, let's make a french fries box. Trace an open box layout on a red plastic paper folder. Cut it out. Score the folding lines with a knife. Fold up the box along the scored lines. Fasten it with super glue. Trace the bottom of the box on a sponge. 
cut it out, and make holes to stick the pencils and brushes in. Attach the sponge to the bottom of the box. Trace the outline of the top and the bottom of the box layout on a yellow foam rubber sheet twice. You get two curved details. Draw the M letter. Cut out the details and attach the strips to the top. Add the letter to the center. Put in the yellow pencils and brushes. The girls get delicate brushes instead of the salty and fatty french fries out of the bag. They also get bright lip and eye pencils. No doubt that french fries is delicious. The pencils and the brushes are much more practical. You certainly need the sauce to go with the french fries. And we have the right one. It's new lip balm sauce. Cover a rectangular lip balm container with white acrylic paint. Print a sauce label and attach it to cardboard. Cut it out and attach to the lip balm lid. Add a layer of clear nail polish on top to make it shiny. I offer my friend to dip her french fries into the sauce. In other words, I offer for her to apply the lip balm using a brush, which failed to change into the french fries. Redhead puts on the balm. She seems to be happier with it, even more than with the sauce. Our cola is also special. It has a makeup brush instead of the straw. And there is highlighter on the bottom of the cup. Draw a wide curved strip on white cardboard and cut it out. Hot glue the edge of the strip to the lid of a highlighter. Attach the cardboard to the highlighter, forming a cup. Hot glue a plastic lid to the top of the cup. Cover the black bottom of the highlighter with white acrylic paint. Draw the signature M letter on the side of the cup. And paint it yellow. Define the outline and make the letter voluminous using different shades of yellow. Cut a wide cocktail straw to be the same size as a makeup brush. Cut it in half and put it on the brush. Put on the same straw from the other side to hide the brush completely. Tuck it into the cup. The cola with a false bottom and a giant straw is a real treasure for spies. But I have only one mission, which is dolling up others and me. Redhead takes a big cheeseburger but she won't manage to eat it. There is foundation hidden inside. Cut a foam plastic ball in half. Cut one half of it in half again. Trace the foundation container in the top part and cut out a hole. Cover the foundation with the foam plastic. Hot glue the lid into the hole and hot glue the bottom to the middle part. Cut off the excess foam plastic to let the lid open. Put a foam rubber sheet between two pieces of paper and heat it with an iron. Cover the foam plastic with the heated foam rubber, pull it up slightly to get the needed shape and hot glue the foam rubber to the foam plastic. Cut off the excess, fold up the edges, and hide them inside. Decorate the bottom in the same way. Paint the foam rubber with a sponge and acrylic paint to make it look like a real bun. Hot glue a strip of green foam rubber around the bun, making waves so that it looks like a real lettuce leaf. Cut out two red foam rubber pieces to shape like tomato slices. Cut out a yellow foam rubber square with a hole inside to fit the size of the foundation container. This is a slice of cheese. Hot glue the cheese and the tomatoes around the foundation. Cut a thin strip of yellow foam rubber into tiny triangles and attach them to the top of the bun using stationary glue.
apply my burger foundation. But Redhead takes it away at the most inappropriate moment. A burger fight is about to start. Do you want it this way? Okay then, get a pattern on your cheek. But my friend returns the favor. She takes a piece of the french fries and draws a magical sign of the ancient Incans on my forehead. We keep painting on each other enthusiastically, but at the end of the day, both of us will have to wash it off. Did you like our food-shaped makeup? Then write in your comments which beauty menu you will order the next time. A foundation cheeseburger, an eyeshadow pizza slice, or a mascara chili pepper. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new ideas on Troom Troom.